Alright guys, so today we're going to continue with our theory. We have our markers, we have our scissors, and our glue that we will be using. We are working on our journal. Now the last thing that we did in our journal was the skin. So let me very quickly, um, well actually let me pull this up a little bit for you so you can have a better view. And um, so what we're going to do here is the journal, just quickly review what we have in here so far. You have the anatomy of the skull the muscles of the face, the male face shapes, we did a thing with this, we did the anatomy of the eye, we have the facial massage manipulations, we did the skin types here, we did on page seven the jade facial, uh, the jade roller facial, and then we did the skin on page eight. Now we're moving on to page nine. So if in your journal, you are on a different page it's okay but we are on page nine okay working from the front to the back and we're going to be talking about our nerve receptors okay so the nerves of the skin and so the two pages that you have to work with is this page here and that has the blanks and there's actually two copies so you just need one and then you have the actual um, indication, um, I'm sorry, you actually have the little words indicated where, what word goes where. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut this page here. And we're going to glue this onto our page number nine. Okay. Okay, so once we cut this here, we want to go ahead and glue it down. And again, there's two on your page, but you only need one. All right, I had to, my glue stick was dried out, so I had to tape my page down, so apologize for that. Okay, so we are going to go ahead, again, your second one, you can just throw that off uh, to the side because we're not going to be needing that. We are going to title this page, page number nine, with this diagram on here, sensory receptors in the skin. Sensory. Receptors in the skin. Okay, all right. So, we are going to use markers, you're going to use pens uh, to diagram, to label, that would be your choice, okay? So, when we're filling this out, okay, I'm going to start uh, with our layers of the skin and then we'll go to those pieces there. So, as we have uh, learned in our previous note page here, we're going to, let me throw this away, we're going to title this section here epidermis. So I'm just going to title it off to the side because the box for me is really small. So this is our epidermis. Okay, that is the top layer of the skin. Your epidermis is showing. It protects everything on the inside. Then you have your dermis. The lower part of the skin, okay? In this area, the dermis area, is where you're going to find these sensory receptors, okay? This here, and I'll color it, this is my hair, okay? Okay, these I'm going to pop up this way, but the hair, that's my hair, and this is just another hair. Just like the uh, graph we did before, this is the hair. Okay, so this is the same, it's just a different model, and now we're going to go a little bit more into depth with this, okay? So that is the follicle where the hair grows out from, where it's nourished, and here it is coming out of the pore, and it's growing out um, on the surface of the, the skin, the epidermis, okay? With the sensory receptors, when you touch something or something touches you or brushes up against you or, or kind of just flows your way or your direction, you're going to feel it, okay? So when you feel it, you're going to feel these things. So this particular one here, as this shows in this graph, this you feel, and I'm going to go this way, 
this I'm at the tape here so I'm gonna go up a little bit is cold cold a chill of a cold air maybe a cold ice cube a cold tabletop a cold hand touch a cold brush a cold lotion a cold facial machine um, apparatus of some some sort okay so cold these little guys right here and I'm just gonna go with the actual squares here are a little bit closer up to the and you can follow this down all the way right they're all it's all connected and I guess I could do that with the purple one I did not do that my apologies this sensory receptor here this is going to be your pain receptor right and it just kind of depends is it a what kind of pain is it is it like a paper cut pain is it someone like maybe pushing you poking you something prickly something blunt that kind of you know pain just anything that would hurt you okay so that's your pain receptor and then you have your light touch okay so the next one that you have here this oblong looking receptor we're going to go this way okay and this is the light touch anything that you might feel that it's barely barely going to touch your skin that with the way or the reason why you can feel it is because that receptor picks it up anything that is of a light touch and then you have another receptor and we'll color this one in follow that all the way down and of course they go uh, all the way horizontal but we're just going to stop there not to make it too complicated and this one here is heat so just like the cold you also feel heat so you do have a receptor that will pick that up okay the cold receptor is only to feel cold the pain is only for pain the touch is only for light touch and the heat is only for the heat the heat receptor does not feel the cold receptor right it's just there you have all of them they each have a job okay let's go to the bottom down here running across and running up individually to each receptor are your nerves okay and we're just going to color this one we're just going to color it across these are all your nerves okay this here on the outer part of it and i'll color it in a yellow so you can see a good outline here this is going to be and i probably should have thought better before i let's see let me go this way this is going to be the connective tissue i wrote it in pen so you can see it good okay and then you have your hair movement so this little receptor here that is kind of wiggled around kind of wrapped around the actual hair follicle on the outer part you're going to see this is going to be hair movement so anytime the wind blows and you feel if you have hair on your arms and you feel the hair moving definitely going to be able to come or you're definitely going to know that your hair movement receptor is working because you're definitely going to be able to feel that and then up here so you have pain and light touch right so this is if someone just very gently comes in or does a very soft gentle massage if you go a little bit and push a little bit deeper like a deep tissue type of massage this receptor oops that's almost too much of the same color let me change my color this receptor right here Okay, this here is for strong pressure. Okay, so anything that pushes a little bit further down the skin, okay, is not a light touch, is a stronger, deeper touch, and then that pain receptor is going to pick, or that uh, sensory receptor is going to pick it up. Okay, it is very important to understand. <laughs> My apologies for that. It is very important to understand that you have these receptors because as you're working on a client's skin, doing their facial, you will be affecting all of these. You'll be triggering some, especially let's say pain. If you go in with the ultra scrubber and you're pushing too hard, you're going to actually not just touch on one, 
you have the pain because it's now uncomfortable for the client it's got the strong pressure because you're pushing down okay you may be maybe moving some hair and as the hair is flopping back into position they might have, feel the hair movement they might actually feel the cold or the heat or any one of these you don't necessarily just pick or, or touch on one okay they're all connected you don't really realize that you have these uh, receptors and that they're working on a day-to-day -day basis but anytime you move your anytime your skin touches something okay the squeeze of your socks if they're too tight the uh, on your skin the squeeze of your your um wristlet or your you know your purse hanging or dangling on your shoulder if it's too too heavy or a backpack you're definitely going to feel those receptors working okay so definitely want to keep that in mind that um, you do have these sensory receptors in the skin and keep that in mind when you're working on your client so go ahead and finish these notes and then we'll move on to the next set of notes in just a little bit